Steve Mignani here for Acid or Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 207, a 1951 Chrysler Saratoga two-door post coupe. But something very special here. The V on the hood indicates this is a Hemi car. Before we open it, let's take a look at the grill. All of this is intact. Uh, the pitting, yeah, that's a natural occurrence. It can be revived and restored. It's better to have the parts in this condition than to not have them. The front bumper is looking very good. The chrome plating, of course, right here. This stuff, of course, being built during the Korean conflict. Chrome was at, at a premium, so uh, this is rare stuff I'm squandering by throwing on the ground. <laughs> but okay, under the hood, here we, we should have the big old... Yep, whew, there it is. This is the 331 Hemi with 180 horsepower, two-barrel carburetor, no four barrels until 1954 on the Hemi, but again, this is the very beginning right here of Chrysler's Hemi legacy. This, of course, would give way to the max the, the 426 race Hemis, uh, and of course, the Hemi generation, the third generation we all know and love today with the Hellcats, the, the, the Scat Pack cars, all of that. It starts right here, 331 Hemi, two-barrel engine. Very complete, it even includes some uh, uh, raccoon home, no extra charge. Uh, the original paint on the firewall is looking really good, solid, no rust. Uh, the trim tag, the paint okay, stickers are still there, having been on this car for, gosh, over 70 plus years. Uh, let's run around to the driver's side front, and as we make our way, let's check out the fender, make sure it really is as rust-free it appears to be. Yeah, and again, what looks like rust, this is surface rust. This is solid. There is no perforation on this fender up top, nor is there any down low. This is a fantastically preserved Texas fender. The chrome on the side is pitted, but again, this is totally re restorable. Uh, the door itself, no pitting, no rust, no signs of any kind of perforation waiting to happen here. Uh, really just fantastic condition. And again, the surface rusting, we'll call that a Texas suntan. It makes it look so much prettier. Okay, inside, can we open the door? No, we cannot. But if we take a peek through that window, without the glare, hopefully, this is a fluid drive, which is Chrysler's semi-automatic. There's a clutch pedal, but once you put it into gear, you don't have to use the clutch once you're underway. Uh, the back seat is shredded, but present, and I do see on the floor the headlight trim rings, which were missing from up front. They're on the floor in the back. And again, this is a two-door coupe right here, and you might say this is um, the hottest Chrysler got in 1951, which is saying a lot. With 180 horsepower, these were muscle cars. Only Cadillac came close with 160 horsepower out of their 331 cubic inch overhead valve V8. Not a Hemi, that was a Kettering style wedge. Rear fenders on this puppy are wonderful. Look at that, the magnet wants to stick. A little bit of a dent here, but again, Texas suntan. Rear axle is the uh, Chrysler style nut and taper, right there with the nut. And again, Chrysler used bolts, left hand bolts, by the way, so the L, uh, and the studs and nuts would come along uh, in the late 50s. Trunk lid looks pretty good. I can't open it, but again, that V with the, with the, with the, the wings on it, that's the indicator to people riding behind this car that this is not to be messed with. It's a two-door Hemi car, two-door post. And again, this is the very beginning of Chrysler Hemi Dynasty. Look at the rear window. The sticker says Arlington Student Parking. Arlington State College expires September 1st, 1963. Love that three-piece rear window. So yeah, great bones. This is a body on frame type car. So, um, you know, in terms of rust repair, that kind of thing, these are pretty simple. And indeed, there are lots of patch panels available for these. Let's run down the uh, passenger side. And again, the front fender is beautiful. Primer here, but again, that's not covering any putty. This is all steel. How nice is that? The door, again, beautiful. This is the corner they always ride out at. Not here. This is a fantastic example, again, of a first year Hemi car. Maybe we'll stick that camera inside the rear window and have a peek at the uh, glove compartment, but uh, that'll give us a better sense of what's inside. But again, down low, the headlight trim rings are present. And uh, what, a, what a fantastic car. And again, two-door post, not a big four-door, not a wagon. This is the uh, smallest, lightest version of a Hemi-powered Chrysler you could get in 1951. So basically, the Hemi legacy starts right here with item number 207. You need this for your collection.